So in this problem, we're trying to find the amount of energy required to construct this sphere. So it's a uniformly charged sphere. And then we're going to use three different formulas to solve this. So this is going to be the first method. So we have a sphere. So it's just part of the sphere. So the formula that we're going to use, so the amount of energy, is going to be equal to 1 half times the integral of the charge density times the potential at every different point of the object we're considering times a unit of volume. So in our case, we're going to use spherical coordinates. And that's going to be equal to r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. And so in our case, this is a sphere, uniformly charged sphere. What is the potential going to be? So we've actually solved for this potential in two different videos. And I'm just going to write out the result. So I'm not going to calculate this again. I'm just going to use the result directly. So in this case, this small r here is the distance from the point we're considering to the center of the sphere. And this big r is going to be the, the radius of the sphere. So using this formula, how do we calculate the energy? So we just substitute everything in. And since we're integrating across a 3D sphere, we're going to have to use triple integrals. So for V, we have this expression. R squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. And then dr is going to go from 0 to big R. Theta is going to go from 0 to pi. Phi is going to go from 0 to 2 pi. So for the next step, let me just pull out all these constants. And then to simplify things a bit more, for the phi term, you see that there are no phi terms inside here, so I can just integrate the phi term first. And then there is only one theta term, so essentially I can just integrate the sine theta as well, from 0 to pi. That's going to be equal to 2. So all we're left with is this term. So I'm going to move this r squared inside the bracket. So 3r squared minus r to the power of 4 divided by r squared dr. So the 2's, they cancel out. The pi cancel out. There's a 4 here. So you have rho q 4 epsilon r. And for this integral, that's, if you integrate that, this is fairly simple. You get something like this. So now we can substitute the numbers, numbers back in. 4 epsilon r. So that's going to be equal to r to the power of 3 minus r to the power of 5 divided by 5r squared. So obviously these cancel out, you get r3. So with along with the first term, you get something like this. So here I'm going to write out the constants. And then for the charge density, the rho, I want to get rid of this because I want to describe the final answer in terms of the total amount of charge. So that's why I'm going to use this formula. So instead of writing rho, I'm going to write this. So you see these cancel out wonderfully. You get uh, these four, they cancel out. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to write these out, 3 over 5. I'm going to group these constants together, 1 over 4 pi epsilon, so just like in the Clone's Law. So you have 2q, so q squared, divided by 1r. So there you have it. I think this is a pretty neat expression. So you have something that looks like the uh, formula for the energy of a point charge. So the potential multiplied by a q. So this kind of looks like Coulomb's law multiplied by some ratio, 3 over 5. So I think this looks pretty neat.